Firefox Quantum, a redesigned, rewritten and faster browser, has just been released. Let's review it, do some tests and find out if it is the Google Chrome Killer. Hello everyone, it's a Linux user, helping you to install, configure and use Linux. I do a lot of tutorials and some reviews on this channel, so I highly recommend you to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Firefox Quantum has just been released. If you haven't heard about this Mozilla's project, this is a new Firefox browser which has been redesigned and rewritten. As it is claimed by Mozilla, it is often faster than Google Chrome and, as it is always has been, Firefox is still lighter on memory usage. In this review, I will show you the new design of Firefox Quantum, try to explain what happened under the hood, and of course I will perform some benchmark and real-life tests to find out if Firefox is indeed lighter and faster than Google Chrome. Let's get started. First we need to install Firefox Quantum. If you go to Mozilla website, you will be able to download new Firefox from here. You click on this download link, download should start automatically. If it doesn't start, you can also click on this link. I save the file, then I close Firefox and I go to my file manager. And in the folder downloads, I can see the newly downloaded Firefox Quantum, which is version 57 in this case. I right click on this archive and select extract it here into subfolder. It takes few seconds to extract it. When the extraction has finished, you can enter this folder and copy the path to this folder. Next I need to open my terminal, paste the path to this folder and type Firefox. This is the binary version of this program, so you just press enter and the new Firefox should open. But before you do it, it is very important to completely clean the previous settings of your Firefox, to make sure that the new version of Firefox works correctly. So I go to home, click here to show hidden files, and here I have Mozilla folder, but this folder contains the settings for the previous version of Firefox. So I suggest you click F2 here, or you can just right click on it and select rename. And in the end of this name, you add the name back, for example. In case if you don't like the new version of Firefox, you can always restore the settings of your previous Firefox and go back to the previous version of Firefox. So when this is done, I open the terminal again and now I press enter and Firefox Quantum should start. And here's our new Firefox Quantum. As you can see, it has some changes to its design. It has now square tabs. This panel also has been redesigned. As you can see, the buttons now have different style. And we also have few new buttons here. And the major change has also been done to the menu. This is a new menu. It's way more easier to navigate and find what you need. This is the menu of previous version. And this is the menu of Firefox Quantum. I think you will agree with me, it is much better. So now let's have a look at these buttons. I think this button is the most useful. Here you have quick access to the most frequently used things in your browser, like bookmarks, history, downloads. You can also quickly access sync tabs if you're using Firefox on different computers or if you're using it on your phone, for example. You can also take screenshot. And you can also have highlights here. I don't have many highlights here because this is completely fresh start of Firefox, but after some usage you should get some nice suggestions here. And this panel is also very useful because if you click on it, you are not leaving it. You can quickly access everything you need here and you don't need to open any separate window or any separate bar. Like for example the same applies for the history. But if you want to have a full bookmark menu, you can also click here and have access to this bookmark panel. You can also click here and have this top bookmark panel, but I usually don't have it. What I don't like about this new design is this wasted space. I don't know why they introduced this space, seriously, just waste of space. So the first thing I do, I just click customize and I remove this space. So I prefer to have this address bar full length. 
You can also use it as a search bar in Firefox if it work. Personally, I used to have a separate search bar, so I add a search bar here. And I also like to use forget button. This is a very useful button, I will show you how it works. Like if you click on it, you can quickly clean the history for the last 2 hours, for the last 24 hours. You can also clean cookies for example here. Very useful button, nice feature of Firefox. So you can also add whatever you want here, it depends on your usage. This are feature also available in the previous version of Firefox, this is the readability mode. If you are reading some articles online, you can click on it to remove all the distraction and have better look for the reading. From here you can also have quick access to different tools. I really like this screenshot tool. I have not used it before, but I have tested it in this version and I think I am going to use it from now. Because as you can see, it has automatic selection here of the different parts you want to screenshot. And if you click on it, you can save it to screenshot cloud, you can download it and you can also cancel. Very useful feature. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend you to give it a try. Here you can also save this page to Pocket, but first you need to log into Pocket. And Firefox also claims that they made beta integration with Pocket. So when you open a new tab, your Pocket integration should be also shown here and based on the websites you save in your Pocket, Firefox will also suggest you new reads. This new tab look has also been redesigned and I really like it because now you can quick access icons here. Again, if you click here, you can pin or remove some of them and you can design it to your liking. Also, if you click on this settings menu, here you can show two rows. This is what I like because now you can have more bookmarks here and like quick access buttons. So this is what has been changed outside. And this new design should perform better. Mozilla claims it is faster, it, the animations are smoother. It should also work better in high DPI screens. This is 1080p screen, it looks ok and the old version also looked good. If you have high DPI screen, please let me know, does it really look better? And this design should also work better with touch screen. I don't have touch screen, this is just a normal desktop. If you have any experience, please share it in the comment, I will greatly appreciate it. So this new design is called Photon. So this is the new project which was started by Mozilla to meet modern requirements of look of the browser. There are also many changes under the hood of this browser. So Firefox now is faster because it better uses multiple cores of your processor. So I don't know all the technical details, Firefox was able to use multiple cores before, but now they have rewritten it in a better way, for example the CSS engine has been rewritten in Rust, which is supposed to be faster. They explained that they've made many changes to make it better and faster, like in particular they fixed 468 issues of slowness, and they say that now it's much faster and it's still consuming less RAM. Let's have a look if it's really true. So I have performed several benchmark tests, if you go to the website Browser Bench. Here you can perform several tests, so I don't know how much we can relate them to the real life, but this is what I have done. For example, Speedometer will measure the responsiveness of your browser applications. So if I start it and I start test, you can see this is how it works. So it loads many things. And as you can see here, it will try to load 420 tasks and after that it will estimate the responsiveness of your browser. I'm not going to run it until the end, because anyway, currently this test is useless because I'm also recording the video as you can see here, and I also record audio on this computer. So I have performed all these tests without recording the video, and I will just show you the scores. I have also done this test, which tests your computer for performance in terms of JavaScript. Here is another test which also uses JavaScript, but it tests the newest feature of JavaScript. And the last benchmark, test your browser for the graphical performance. I can just run it here to show you how exactly it works. So as you can see, it tries to reconstruct some graphical things here. It's very long test and it performs various graphical motions here. I have tested it on old version of Firefox, on new version of Firefox. I also tested it on Google Chrome and on Chromium. 
Chromium is an open source version of Google Chrome. And I would like to present you the results. So this is Firefox old version. This is Firefox new version. This is Chromium. And this is Google Chrome. So, and from these screenshots, you can already see that in terms of responsiveness, old Firefox was the worst. Firefox Quantum was quite better in comparison to old version of Firefox, but both Google Chrome and Chromium outperformed Firefox. Well, Mozilla claims it is faster than Google Chrome, but according to this benchmark, it's not. Now let's have a look at the other results. If we check the performance for JavaScripts, you can see that old Firefox performs quite okay, new Firefox is better, this is Firefox Quantum. Chromium and Google Chrome don't perform as well here as in the previous test, so Firefox Quantum is definitely a leader in JavaScript performance. So now let's look at the newest feature of JavaScript. Does Firefox hold the first place here? And as you can see, no. In terms of the newest feature of JavaScript, Chromium and Google Chrome are much better. And actually Firefox Quantum is even a little bit worse than Firefox of the version. So I don't know how reliable these tests are, but this is what I've got. And I've run this test several times and in most of the cases I get estimates which are close to the ones you see on the screen now. Now let's look at the graphical performance. And unfortunately for Firefox, Chromium and Google Chrome are both way better than Firefox Quantum. But of course Firefox Quantum is a little improvement in comparison to Firefox of the version. So these are benchmark tests. I don't know how much we can extrapolate of these results to the real life, but I think it is the only reliable way to test the speed performance. Because if you measure speed performance by hand, most likely it will be unreliable and you will need to do it many times to get some kind of distribution and estimate your error. I'm not going to do that, but what I can do in real life, I can measure the amount of memory each browser consumes. My approach to this was the following. I would go to my cache folder and clean cache of all browsers. So I just delete Chromium, Google Chrome and Mozilla folder and start each of these browsers and load 10 different web pages. So you can see these pages here. And then I measure how much RAM the browser consumes after I load all these pages. I also would like to let you know that I'm doing some recording here, so this is uh, not probably the best test because I have some processes running on my system. And if you're curious, I can also let you know that I'm running Arch Linux here with 8 gigs of RAM and i3 processor, and this is the latest KDE desktop. So the approach is the following. I first measure how much RAM my system is consuming without the browser open. And then I open the browser, load all the pages and measure the memory again. So let's clean this cache. Measure memory. So this is the amount of RAM memory the system consumes now. Now let's start Firefox 56, which is older version. Make sure that all the pages have been loaded. So now all the pages are loaded, let's check. And here's the amount of RAM the system is consuming now. So if we want to be precise, let's copy it, go to the calculator, paste it, and let's calculate how much RAM memory was loaded due to our browser. So as you can see here, it has used 1.2 gigs of RAM just to load these 10 pages. Now we close it, clean the cache. So let's measure the memory again before we start Firefox Quantum. This is the current state of the memory. And now we start Firefox Quantum. I make sure that all the pages have been loaded. And I measure the memory again. 
So you see, Firefox Quantum is a little bit better in terms of memory performance in comparison to the older version. Now let's start the test with Google Chrome and Chromium. Again, we measure the memory before and run Chromium to load the same 10 pages. So all the pages have been loaded. And as you can see, Chromium consumes less memory than Firefox Quantum and all the version of Firefox. Let's perform the same test for Google Chrome. So this is the memory used before. So all the pages are loaded. Unfortunately, from these numbers, I can only conclude that Chromium and Google Chrome use less memory than Firefox. You have seen all the results yourself. What do you think about this new Firefox Quantum Browser? I have always been fan of Firefox and I will keep using Firefox, but I have to admit Google Chrome is performing better. But I prefer Firefox in terms of privacy and I also like the add-ons of Firefox more than add-ons of Google Chrome. But regardless if you are Firefox or Google Chrome user, I think in the end we all will benefit from this introduction of Firefox Quantum. Because now the competition between Google Chrome and Firefox is tougher, so the browsers will keep improving. Have you tried Firefox Quantum? Please share your experience in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Thank you for watching.